In this video, we will talk about two special components. One is the underscore app.js that wraps every single page and the document that forms the whole HTML of the page. The first thing we want to do to our page is to change the background color. At the moment, it's the default white. And for that reason, we actually, we don't have access anywhere to the body. If we look at our index HTML or index CSS or <laughs> index JS, there is no body tag. And also in the app underscore or underscore app JS, there is no body tag. Okay, so how we change the back background color of the body in an XJS is by using custom document component. This is used if you want to be in charge of the HTML and body tags. Okay, so we can easily copy this, create our own underscore document, and that will be used to initiate the overall structure of the HTML of our page. So let's go back, create a new file underscore document. paste everything in and here is the body tag that we can apply a specific class, change the CSS, whatever we want to do with body tag, document.js is the place to do it. Same thing if we need to apply something to the HTML head. Again, it will bring all the necessary style sheet and JavaScripts and the same thing with the next scripts. And inside of the main, the whole application, every single page will be injected. Okay, so in our demo, we don't need any static props. We can delete that. And if we save it, we would need to restart the server. But before we do that, let's apply light gray background to the body. We will talk about Tailwind a little bit in detail in next video. For now, just apply the background BG gray 100. And also the HTML tag, we want to make sure we specify the language and that is English. Okay, so this is important. If you are chasing perfect scores on Lighthouse, then you will need a language attribute on the HTML. And again, the document, the JS is the place to do it. If I save it and restart the server, we should be able to see a background color change and also the attribute being on the HTML. So let's go back to our page, refresh it if it didn't automatically. And yes, we'll see the background color change and also the lang attribute on the HTML. Okay, so that's how you are in control of the whole structure. And the app underscore or underscore app JS is a component that wraps every single page, which means that it injects the CSS, the generic style sheet that you want to be applied to every page. That's where you importing it. And if you need to do anything specific that should apply to every page, then the custom app component is for it. It can help you to persist layout between page changes, keep state when navigating between pages, custom error handling. There is more we can do to it in our demo. All we're doing inside of it is just adding a global style sheet. Okay, so I will link to both of the custom app and custom document under the video. You can read more about it. And that's pretty much it. Now we have a custom document. We've added the link, link or language attribute to the HTML. We've changed the background color. And now we are ready to continue with the styling.